So is the matter resolved? Good. No. As I said, I am not partial to crowded areas. Especially at this time of the year. Yeah! It's a super impressive looking giant deer! Let's go take a look together! <sighs> Skybracer. <laughs> a Ming Xiao lantern nonetheless. A fleeting creation of human hand. It means nothing to me. If this short-lived spectacle is one you wish to witness, I suggest you go to the city. Oh, he really won't go. Unless... Let's go find the boss! If this short-lived spectacle is one you wish to witness, I suggest you go to the city. I, for one, have no interest in the lantern rite. She might have a few tricks up her sleeve. <laughs> Sounds like you and Xiao took care of business again. <laughs> Word certainly got around. The news even reached us here. Ah, <sighs> and yet another year's lantern rite will soon be over. And he still won't go and take a look. <sighs> All these long years, and I've never seen him attend the Lantern Rite. I'd go as far as to say it'd be easier bringing the festival to him than the other way around. Bring the festival to him? Hmm. Yeah, if Xiao won't go to the Lantern Rite, then let's bring the Lantern Rite to him! Uh, sorry, surely you realize I was joking. How would you bring the Lantern Rite to him, exactly? When we were in the city checking out the festivities, we learned how to make Xiao lanterns. We even found a food stall serving local delicacies. So much tasty food! So many pretty Xiao lanterns! Not to mention, um, what else? Oh, the bygone heroes! His old friends! Aren't those the heart and soul of the lantern, right? You're not wrong, but where would we set all that up? Now that you mention it... I wonder... We need enough space to set up our own stall. Huh, there might just be enough room below the inn. Hey, let's take a look and choose a space. I believe I know the kind of stall you're after. Hmm, there should be a few styles we can reference. Let me think... Uh, this is too close to the elevator entrance. I think we can do better. No, here we'd be constantly interrupted by the foot traffic. Here's not too bad. And it's safely away from all the foot traffic. Hmm, fitting choice. We've got ourselves a nice spot, now we need to build a proper stall. I've thought about it, and I believe I know roughly how to go about it. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I'll try to figure out where to start. And voila! A little rough around the edges, but it should serve us well. What do you think? <laughs> There's no big deal. Just a 
little bit of DIY that I picked up years ago. <laughs> I've forgotten most of it, actually. Well, we can check the stall off our to-do list. It looks quite festive decorated with that Shao Lantern, wouldn't you say? Well, yes, but in my generation, it's just the norm for everyone who grew up in Liyue. Anyway, speaking of festivities, no celebration is complete without a feast. Do you know what you would like on the menu? Almond tofu, that's for sure. We've made it for Xiao before. Almond tofu and grilled tigerfish. Huh. <laughs> what an interesting combination of flavors. I'll have a word with Smiley Yan Xiao. He should be able to rustle those up in no time. Luckily, the inn's pantry contains all the necessary ingredients. Oh, it's about time to summon our honored guest. Could you fetch him? The food should be ready by the time you come down. What now? We've had the talk about crowded places. Do not make me repeat myself. Best you go alone. What is that supposed to mean? You brought the festival to me? Okay, so there's a bunch of delicious snacks just laid out below the inn and a bunch of Xiao Lanterns, and there's practically no one else around to have to worry about. Better hurry up, or the food's gonna go cold. Come on down! So this is what you meant by bringing the festival to me? <sighs> is there no end to the peculiarities of human behavior? Does it serve any grander purpose? Is that so? <laughs> human motives defy my attempts to fathom them. Less fathoming, more eating! Come on, dig in before it gets cold! Mm -mm. Okay, Paimon's gonna concentrate on eating now. <sighs> now that we're done with the most important part of the celebration, we should be heading out to see the Ming Xiao Lantern. You may take your leave. There's nothing for me over there. Yeah, the Ming Xiao Lantern may not be your thing, but surely there's no harm in taking a walk with us. The road from here to Liyue Harbor is long and full of dangers. We need someone to ensure our safety. Nobody says you have to enter the city. You can just see us off at the outskirts. Uh... <laughs> so be it. I shall accept your proposal. There you go! Alright, time to hit the road! Used to just
This is as far as I will go. Please see yourselves into the city. You are obviously one of the heroes this festival is all about. Why don't you want to get involved? I... detest the rabble. No cares in the world. So peaceful, so joyful. They are nothing like me. Too long have I spent slaughtering, accompanied by the burden of suffering that follows in its wake. Crossing paths with all those jubilant people will only make me... <sighs> That's all I have to say. Farewell. Are you really so enamored with such trivial amusements? Hey! This is a legitimate festival! Not some trivial amusement! <laughs> legitimate? Enough. Go watch your lanterns. But stay vigilant. Keep your eyes open for any menace. If you find yourself in trouble, speak my name. Anywhere, anytime. Whether yours or Leo's, I hear all cries for help, all prayers for peace, and all the wishes carried by the lanterns. Whether yours or Leo's, I hear all cries for help, all prayers for peace, and all the wishes carried by the lanterns. <laughs> Huh. Boring! Huh. Huh.